hey people welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel so today i'm gonna be showing you guys how i prepare seafood okra soup i think okra soup is probably the simplest soup i can think of right now that i love to cook and eat so it's very straightforward i'm gonna try and make this video very short and sweet for you guys so the first thing we will need is obviously okra i'm gonna be using two textures here so i've got the finely chopped okra and then i've got the second type which is a bit more chunky this is a personal preference as i like my okra soup to have a bit of texture to it depending on my mood or you know what i'm having it with or if i'm eating it on its own or if i'm eating it with something else so it just depends really but today i'm gonna be mixing the two textures together as you can see here this one is a bit more chunky so i've chopped it a little bit more you know to make it a bit bigger um so i'm gonna mix the two textures together in this video so the next ingredient is the seafood so I'm using fresh fish so you can use any types of fresh fish of your choice dry fish I'm using fresh prawns and smoked prawns I'm using king prawns here by the way this is all I'm using I don't like to overload my seafood okra with seafood does that even make sense <laughs> I prefer to keep it simple I don't like it when the soup is too fishy it's not for me but obviously you can add other types of seafood of your choice you can add crab I don't know um, salmon um, scallops it's up to you really you can really do much anything you want with this soup but for me let's keep it simple next I'm using one large minced onion one scotch bonnet and this pointy pepper slash chili I'm not really sure what this is called so I'm gonna call it pointy chili so you don't need to use the amount that I've got on the screen right now or oh, I like my okra soup to be spicy so that's why I've got that on the screen right now but if you don't have um you know fresh pepper or fresh chili at home you can actually just use um powdered cay cayenne pepper or powdered um chili or something like that you don't actually need tomatoes or bell pepper for okra soup okay so the last part of what i'm using are just the extra things that gives it flavor so we have salt um chicken seasoning i'm using um or any seasoning of your choice i'm using crayfish this is optional as i know some people are not a fan i'm gonna be using locust beans also this is optional but for me personally crayfish and locust beans together gives the amazing flavor so um lastly i'm using palm oil small amount of palm oil because we're not cooking stew um okra soup doesn't need a lot of you know a lot of oil which makes it a very healthy dish to have so just a little bit of oil and that's it this is all i'm using to cook this okra soup so let's get cooking okay so starting on medium to high heat i will start off with cooking the minced onion so adding um half cup of water to it and let it cook so guys cooking this soup is so so straightforward i'm literally just adding everything together and but i'll still explain it anyway but it's so simple it's so easy but yeah so add the locust beans next and um, from the start i like to add the dry fish the dry fish is harder so adding it from the start helps it to you know to obviously cook thoroughly and um, so go ahead and add the fresh prawns and the smoked prawns next i add the crayfish as well by this time everything is already smelling so so good then in goes the chili and the palm oil and um, add oil seasonings as well and mix it all together I wanted it to be a bit more spicy so I added more pepper so I added some cayenne pepper this is optional of course depending on your spice tolerance so the onion from the start and um, with everything that I've just added together it smells so good at the moment but yeah so this is it and um, we're ready to like add the seafood so anything else that you wanted to add this is the point that you add it so the, i'm adding the fish last because obviously i don't want to overcook the fish and i don't want it to break so i'm gonna add the fish and let it cook you know thoroughly mixed to, with the sauce add the remaining um half cup of water and let it cook for like five to seven minutes the, this fish doesn't take long to cook at all so i'm just gonna obviously make sure that i carefully um switch it over as well to the other side so that everything can be thoroughly cooked um, and obviously we have to do it very carefully as well so that it doesn't break i don't want to overcook the fish so i only cooked it for another five to seven minutes Time to add the okra, um, the finely chopped one, the chunky one, mix it all together. You can add more water at this point if you feel the soup is too thick. Um, I don't cover the soup anymore at this point because it won't take long for it, for it to cook anyway. Um, so I let it cook for around 10 minutes, have a taste to see if you need any more seasoning or if you want the okra to cook longer and obviously just adjust to your own preference. So yeah, this is it guys. So be careful of, obviously as well when you're stirring this soup because 
you know you don't want the fish to break I really don't like it when the fish and everything is scattered in the soup I'm not a big fan of that so but yeah it's all done now like I said before it doesn't take long at all to make this soup so I can have it alone as a meal or I can have it with fufu or something but if I'm trying to be really healthy I just have it alone so this is it guys I hope you've enjoyed watching this video let me know what you think in the comment section below and please please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you so much guys for watching see you guys next time bye